Scientists have more questions about the latest bird flu strain after indoor cats tested positive for the virus. The findings suggest H5N1 could be more prevalent among us than previously thought. How the two cats contracted the virus remains a mystery. Theories range from an infected mouse to drinking raw milk or consuming infected meat. Domestic cats have tested positive in the past for the virus, but some lived on dairy farms among infected cows and in states hit hard with the virus. Pets are a trickier population for scientists to track because there are no mandatory tests like in livestock. So far, no dogs have any reported cases to date. But experts urge pet owners to avoid feeding their dogs and cats raw milk, eggs or meat, and to keep an eye on pets that directly handle birds. The transmission of the virus through meat is still being determined. The U.S. recently announced it will begin testing the meat of dairy cows brought to slaughter. The survey set to begin next month will reportedly give scientists a better national outlook on bird flu and determine if the virus can replicate in a lab and what temperature kills it. The USDA also announced new findings into the pasteurization process, confirming the process inactivates the virus and commercial milk remains safe to drink. Mitigation efforts have been underway with mandatory testing for dairy herds crossing state lines implemented earlier this year. As for the impact on humans, scientists remain concerned with these latest findings as they study how the virus is transmitted. The discovery of H5N1 in house pets could mean virus carrying animals or products could already be within the confines of our homes. For Straight Arrow News, I'm Lauren Taylor. For more on the bird flu, download the Straight Arrow News app.